everyone and welcome back to my channel and another video so today we're back down here at Aldinga grounds and we are having a lesson today so um, we're having a poles clinic so getting Bella a bit more forward and I'll be working a little bit more on not nagging with my legs and uh, yeah so a bit of training today rather than a competition so it's a really relaxed day it's a beautiful gorgeous day it's in the 20s but we have got a lot of flies going on haven't we Bill so um I've popped a fly spray on already and hopefully that'll help. Uh, yeah, so we'll get, oh, we've got a little while to wait before it's our turn. We got down here quite early just so we can get settled and watch some of the other classes because I think you learn a lot by watching others. Um, so I hope you guys get something out of it. It is a group lesson, so I will be a little bit um, selective with my editing and I'm not sure how much audio we'll get, but I'll do a voiceover or put captions up or something. So hopefully you all enjoy. And thank you everyone who subscribes to my channel and um, leaves a comment. I've been getting a few comments and it's really encouraging. So thank you for that. And if you don't already, um, please subscribe to our channel and give it a like and a comment. And uh, yeah, cause it just, uh, it, YouTube then throw out our video to a lot more people if we're getting a lot more subscribers and a lot more likes. So then more people Get to enjoy our content and coming come along on our journey as well so um yeah if you can just hit that subscribe button like i've said before it doesn't cost you anything it just means that you're following along on our journey and uh, you get notified if you hit the little bell as well when we have a new episode out so my aim for the lesson was to get bella moving forward and in a rhythmical way and to work on bend um, and getting her more supple and by using the poles I find that also helps to get them to engage their core a bit more um, and just to think about where she's placing her feet so we had um, three of us in the class so we had a huge big thoroughbred as you could see there and a lovely Welsh pony um, and and Bella and I uh, so we started off with walk. Um, these poles were actually set out for the previous class which were canter poles but they were good to walk over. And then we had these three here which were a bit closer together as walk poles. Um, we then uh, did a circle so these four were set out on the circle and that was about gaining accuracy and getting them to bend um, and asking for a half hole over the pole, asking for a little flexion and just really um, to aim for the middle of the pole if we could uh, and to yeah just work on the circle. I found this really beneficial and I'm going to try and do this one also at the canter at home because it just gives you that good visual and then she's moved these up into trot poles now um, so I had my microphone on so you can see it here bits and pieces of me huffing and puffing um, but Denise didn't have a microphone on. So here I am working on bend and just pushing her forward. So it was all about looking up, looking straight and riding straight over the poles. Good girl, good. Here coming down the long side I was using this fence as a guide and just trying to keep her really straight so working on those straight lines for our dressage test and then moving off into the circle and getting her bending around my leg as I look then to the poles to go up the center and across um, yeah down the pole Good line down, um, nice and here we were nice talking a lot about stretch Good. and allowing them to have a bit longer rain and to stretch Whoops. and she Whoops. really <laughs> was took some big strides over the poles there. She did really well. Yep. Push, 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 push. Good girl. Thank you. 
there, much better. Sorry, Gail. You go. Push. Trot. Push, push, push. Here we've changed the rain and we're coming down from the other end over the poles and you can hear me going push, push, push. That's me telling myself to push. use my leg here. I breathe out and I'm using yeah. the tactic that um, Lucy taught me a few weeks ago where um, the half halt more about breathing out and expanding the belly to push her more forward and to push her head and neck down um, and just try to keep my hands nice and soft. And I am trying to stop nagging with my legs, but now I'm watching this back. You can see they're still going bang, 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 bang. But never mind, we'll get there. It's a work in progress, isn't it? You're trying to think of so many things all at once just to get it all right. Good. Oh. We have the moving and pooing. Phil. Come on. This is a very bad habit, Bella. So I really need to work on Bella moving and pooing at the same time. I've allowed her to be a little bit naughty in that department. But here we are working on the circle Good. and Good. this was all about getting more flexion. Good. So she'd set up a pole on either side and then the yellow um, markers there so we were to ride straight so even though you're doing a 20 meter circle it should be made like a diamond so you're actually looking up, to up, ride a straight up. line um, from one marker to the next and using the marker as an indicator to then ask for the flexion when you get there so I'm using the inside leg and a little bit of inside um, Push. rein just to ask for that bit of flexion um, and then in a second we do work one by one doing canter over the poles around this circle, which I found really beneficial. Yep, that feels better. What was that, Denise? Okay. I'm exit stage left. <laughs> Okay, forward to trot. Forward to trot. So Bella was not too impressed here because we'd had a little break. Um, so she thought we were done and it was a very hot day. So I was very proud of her because she did pull it together and do what I asked her to do. Um, so we just started to establish a bit of trot here and trying to get her a bit softer and a bit more round. And then I ask her to come up into canter. Up, up, up. Up, up. Canter. Up. So the first time there we went on the outside of the marker, but then the aim was to try and keep within the markers and canter the two poles on either side, which she actually handled really well. This was the first time I'd ever cantered her myself on her back over poles. I've done it on the lunge 
without me on. Um, but I found, again, really good having that visual to look to the marker to keep you on track of the circle rather than drifting all over the place. And you can see there we've got resistance, we've got tail wagging, swishing, sorry, but um, yeah, she does soften here and there. But that canter is a vast improvement on what we've had in the past. So Good it's girl. coming along. Good girl. Actually never cantered a pole on her before. Well, there you go. <laughs> Yep. Here we are on the right rein, and I wasn't getting much flexion at all. Uh, she was really struggling to bring her body around my inside leg, and you can see my inside leg is just on, on, on. Um, and my inside, she, uh, Denise was getting me to bring my inside hand to the Good. centre of the circle to try and encourage. But uh, what we realised is that I'm also still blocking with my left hand, that good old good. left hand. Good. So once I started to give with the left hand, um, in a moment, you'll see we do get a bit better bend. Uh, so yeah, again, so many things good. to think about. Um, but once, of course, I get my position correct, then of course that Up. helps Bella Up. to be more correct in herself. But like I said, she picked up the right lead each time. She was moving Up. forward um, and it was a really hot day. So I was really proud of her to keep going. So right there, I think is where we got it correct. Or it might have yep. been the next circle round. Yep. Yeah, there she softened a bit. It was good. Get up! Yeah, good girl! Push! Push! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Push, 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 push. Good girl. Well, that was a really good lesson. Belle's nice and sweaty now. Um, really got her moving forward. She did some lovely trot work. I was super happy with that. And the canter, I've never cantered over a pole before. So, um, yeah, I didn't know how that was going to go, but she did it really well. She clipped them a few times, but it really got her picking up her hind end and uh, engaging her core a bit more and for me too, to engage my core. Um, so that was hard work. We were supposed to do an hour, but it was a bit, it was very hot out there. And uh, yeah, we decided to cut it a bit shorter, but I have no idea what mum got on camera or um, what the audio is like. So hopefully you guys learnt something along the way um, and you enjoyed it and I uh, hope you tune in again for a, the next video. I'm not sure what that'll be yet. Um, I might just do one at home, a bit of a moochy training video at home and just put into practice a few things that I've learnt from my lesson with Lucy and today my lesson with Denise. And uh, yeah, just keep moving forward towards that next competition and hopefully improve on the prelim. So until um, Bella and I see you again, I hope you stay safe, stay well, remember. Enjoy those little victories in life. Bye for now.